In news tonight about women's health, the dilemma faced by many young women who have to endure treatment for cancer while knowing it could make them infertile. Now, a still relatively new procedure known as an ovarian tissue transplant has successfully given some women a second chance by, in effect, freezing time. Our report tonight from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. 29-year-old Morgan Thompson was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma three years ago. It is a very shocking thing to have to deal with at any age, but at 26, I was not prepared for that at all. One in every 46 women under the age of 40 is diagnosed with cancer. And during the most fertile time of a woman's life, the treatment to cure that cancer, chemotherapy or radiation, can leave a woman infertile. But with improvements in cancer treatment, there's also growing interest in preserving fertility in cancer patients. And you always knew I wanted to be a mom. I always, in my mind, I was going to have twin girls and a little boy. I had everything perfect in my head. Morgan is referred to Dr. Kutlak Akte, a fertility expert at New York Medical College who specializes in an experimental technique called ovarian tissue cryopreservation, freezing precious ovarian tissue before yeah. cancer treatment Go begins. Down. The ovary is removed through a keyhole procedure and it's taken through a specialized process which involves treating the tissue with antifreeze substances and utilizing an automated process to preserve the ovary for future use. So far, the procedure has resulted in 20 babies worldwide. If you were a cancer patient 15 years ago, your options in terms of fertility preservation would be close to zip. With her cancer responding to treatment, Morgan is looking forward to a chance at motherhood. You want to be told that you have options. You want people to think that you're going to be here in order to even make that decision to have kids. So um, a procedure like this is amazing. Because the procedure is experimental, it is not covered by insurance. Doctors and researchers are working to improve the efficiency of the technique, hopeful that it will soon be an established fertility method. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, New York.